Um, Ravi asked me to come and talk a little bit about um, the role of CMO and, and particularly maybe to juxtapose the differences between a CMO and a large, well-known organization and um, a smaller, more entrepreneurial organization from a business to consumer organization to a business to business organization. Marketing's primary responsibility is to create the demand necessary to fulfill the business plan. If you don't do that, you're probably not gonna live to that four, 45 months average life expectancy as a CMO. There are lots of different ways of, of measuring brand strength. These are, are probably all important, but I guess the, the main thing is, is brand is a, a, um, a pretty critical um, asset of the company, and it's the CEO's responsibility to manage that um, and nurture that. So the marketing imperatives for me, the thing that I think are absolutely mission critical for every CMO, this would include the CMOs of JP Morgan and other financial institutions, they have to be able to define the, the company and brand. Three questions, who we are, what we do, and, and, and why it matters. If we can't answer those three things, we've got a problem. It's, it's great if you've got the story right and you've got the products right, but you gotta figure out who you wanna talk to. You gotta know what your objectives are, um, what you wanna specifically accomplish, um, and you've gotta have the metrics that, that make sense for that. And again, finding metrics sometimes in, in, in marketing is tough. One of your critical responsibilities, developing the people that you work with up, across, and down the organization is everybody's job. If you can't, if you can't adopt that attitude of, 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 of building teams and working to make everybody around you better um, every day, um, you're not gonna get to the CMO job. The medium is the message. How many of you have heard that? How many of you think that there's some validity to that? The medium is the message. With the explosion of social media, um, you've got to at least think, yeah, I mean, there's probably some truth to that, right? I'd argue that this is the single most destructive idea in marketing today. Medium is not the message. The message is the message. Obama didn't win the election because he spent more money. He didn't win the election because he had a better media plan or better PR strategist. He won the election because he had a better message. If we can't get the message right, all of the rest of it doesn't matter. Doing cool things on Twitter or cool things on LinkedIn or cool things on Facebook or doing really interesting blog posts, unless there is a clear message, a coherent message that actually resonates with the people that you want to establish the dialogue with, it really doesn't matter. The CMO cannot delegate that to anybody on their team. They can't delegate it to their strategist. They can't delegate it to their head of advertising. They can't delegate it to their media mavens. They can't delegate it to their head of PR or IT. They have to own that and be the evangelist for that. At the end of the day, we are emotional creatures. We are not rational creatures. We make emotional decisions and we support that with rational thought. And it doesn't matter what you are marketing. It doesn't matter if you are marketing cloud-based software to help pharmaceutical companies build faster, more efficient, lower risk clinical trials. Or if you're selling cars, um, there is still this incredibly potent, powerful, emotional component of what we do um, that really differentiates those of us who are just okay and those of us who aspire to be great.